It may not be the first drone war, but Ukraine is the first conflict where so many small UAVs have been used to such devastating effect. The makers of this Ukrainian drone were in London as guests at this year's DSCI defense exhibition. The company was founded by Alexander. He used to run his own engineering firm in Kyiv, making bins and park benches. Now he's turned that skill to warfare, with he and his 20-strong workforce manufacturing scores of kamikaze and reusable drones for the Ukrainian military. Before I uh, make, uh, I have a small business, I make uh, street furniture uh, with uh, concrete uh, and uh, have, has a small hobby, uh, it's uh, FPV drones. I fly it inside in the flat and uh, outside in the street uh, and make movies. Uh, I see in uh, telegrams and uh, in social uh, all uh, people uh, is, with my hobby uh, start create uh, a few drones at home and uh, I and my friends uh, uh, we started create uh, at uh, home drones too. When Russia invaded, there were four firms making drones in Ukraine. Now it's thought there are 200, with 40 of them making aircraft directly for the MOD. The Ukrainian army also reportedly has 12 drone assault companies, each with 65 soldiers. If you put it a special form of triangle, I'd say, it can go exactly through the um, tank. Uh, like a dart? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this, this with, the, with the fins yeah. is the type of weapon you drop in trenches? With the fins, we usually use it uh, reusable drones, when you just drop it and it goes down. Uh, in kamikaze drones, you can use something like this, yeah, without any tail. So this is a plastic model of something that you make, yes. but the real version is made of metal. It's made of metal, yeah. Uh, this structure is very important because it has, it cannot melt uh, after explosion. In terms of attacking a, a Russian tank, for instance, that's mm -hmm. what you might use. Yeah, and that uh, can cause quite a lot of damage. Uh, we use this one for uh, soldiers, for people, and this one for tanks. Uh, the penetration uh, through the metal is 20 centimeters, yeah. These jet drones cost around $800 each. Exactly how many drones Ukrainian forces are using is classified, but estimates from Rusi say the country is losing 10,000 drones a month. We see these things on Telegram. I uh -huh. mean, you also see them, I guess, yeah, and they're sure. your products. I mean, what do you feel when you see them? Um, I enjoy them every day, actually. Um, first thing I think is if it's my friends, if it's our drones, just I'm just lucky it's uh, our enemy, not us. Yeah. At the moment, most of the parts for these aircraft come from China, but many are being reverse engineered so Ukraine can make its own. And even at this level, there's an arms race going on. We are now working on artificial intelligence, which will have defined aims in the air and can also choose the priority of different targets. However, we think the Russians are working on this too, so we will have to be quicker. For these young Ukrainians, this one-time hobby is now a deadly serious business. Each drone they produce, every strike they manage to make on Russian forces, a small but vital step towards saving their nation. Simon Newton, Forces News at DSCI in London. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.